You're looking at the back page. Monday's Boston Herald. High school, high school hockey championships were decided Sunday at TD Garden. Bruce Lurch here back for our final Winter Sports episode of the High School Insiders. We're going to go over those hockey championships right now with you. On a day where we had two teams win f their fourth consecutive championships, let's start with one of those teams, Malden Catholic in the Super 8. It's been just a dominating run for this program over the last uh, four years plus. Um, but state championships, four in a row. Next year, they'll take a shot at number five. A number would match uh, marks set by Catholic Memorial and those great Madding Young teams of the early 90s. On the girls side, Division I girls, Duxbury, they've won three consecutive Division II championships. They stepped up to Division I for the first time as a program, got through the entire season with just one loss, managed to get through the tournament. This is a team that does the little things better than anybody else. This was on display at TD Garden. Jane Dudley, Marissa Fichter with third period goals. They take a 2-1 to -one decision over Arlington Catholic. Division I boys, Reading Rockets, the 12th seed in, in the Division I North tournament. They managed to get through that. Always one of the toughest brackets to get through in the postseason. And then they uh, took on a Braintree team that had been on a great run of its own. Braintree, uh, originally in the Super 8, they lost the playing game controversially somewhat. Stormed through the South. Uh, great game at TD Garden for them. Mike Siebold, great player, great postseason for the Rockets. A couple of assists. Reading beats Braintree 4-1 to to win the Division I state championship. Down in Division Two, we had perhaps the best game of the day in the nightcap. It was uh, Beverly getting a, getting that first state championship with a two to one victory over Medfield late in the day. In the girls' game, Division Two, Westwood Wolverines. Honestly, they looked like they might have been the best team in attendance at the Garden that day. Um, this was a group of seniors that won seven games as freshmen, and now they're a state champion, six to two over Wellesley. And then in the uh, Division Three boys' game, our friends from Central Mass. Shrewsbury, they're a team that Jim Clark has been talking about all year as a team to keep an eye on. Well, they showed that they were worth all the hype. 7-1 to victory over Hanover for the Division Three state finals. Now we'll turn it over to Danny V. He'll get you caught up on how the basketball season came to an end. We'll go from the ice to the hardwoods, from Boston to Worcester. It started Friday night with the Division Four championships. St. Clement showing that the Catholic Suburban League may be gone but not forgotten as they took home the Division IV, the inaugural state title with a 45-42 victory over Quaybog. We'll go over to the girls real, real quick, where Millis showed that playing the Tri-Valley League certainly hurt them during the season, but they benefited in the postseason, capping off a great run by defeating New Mission 57-36. As for the boys' slate on Saturday at the DCU Center, Division I Putnam defended its state title with a 74-70 victory over Central Catholic, who certainly showed in the postseason that they were the team from around here best equipped to try to knock off the Beavers. Division II, New Mission showed that chemistry sometimes beats talent, defeating Concord Carlisle 53-43, and the feel-good story of the tournament was Cardinal Spellman, motivated by the passing of a former star, Joey Glenn, capped off a memorable postseason run by defeating Tingsboro for the Division III title 61-51. As for Ladies Day at the DCU Center, Braintree capped off a great run by defeating Westford Academy 57-49. If your team's looking to play them next year, it can't be a comforting thought when you look at Braintree. Four all-scholastic players back, Ashley Russell, the Hurley he sisters, and Molly Regan. Good luck. Division II, Arlington Catholic, it wasn't pretty, but they wound up winning their second uh, Division II title in the last four years, defeating Longmeadow 42-35 in overtime. Defense paid the way to victory. Division three, it was clearly a mismatch from the start. St. Mary's rolling over Hoosac Valley, 74 to 36. The big three, Sherelle Sanders, Brianna Rudolph, Jenny Mucciaroni were the stars of the show. And speaking of stars, the real stars are you people who followed us during the winter. We'll be back in a couple weeks with baseball, softball, lacrosse, and maybe even tennis. Thank you.